Fashion Week is my dream event. I am sustainably stylish and I am at Fashion Week 2023. I've made it. So hot. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, it's so muggy. Oh. When you disregard what your greed really translates into environmentally. In the spirit of fashion weeks, but for me, style weeks, I get dressed up and I also want to bring to your attention some of the well ignored aspects of fashion weeks. Fashion week for many is that pinnacle event. It's that it event where content creators have dreamt all their lives to make it to a fashion event. It's where companies, brands that you have admired from since you were yay high, eventually notice you if you have the content that they love and you get invited to their well sought after events. But keep in mind that from my humble perspective, Fashion Week compromises your integrity, health, and sustainability. Fashion Week, it fuels your greed. Let's discuss. Number five, Fashion Week bring to our attention trends and styles that one could argue are already in existence that often we don't even need to know about. I say this because most fashion shows, they often show items that have already been made, that are actually the creative designs of people from ages ago. And while some of them bring new and fresh takes on these styles, it's essentially the same. And it fuels our greed in the sense that it makes us feel like we are not on trend and we are scrambling to buy what is now being shown in these fashion shows, largely because our favorite influencers are often either modeling or showcasing, highlighting these brands on the runway. Number four, fashion weeks fuel your greed and compromises your health, sanity, and sustainability because it drives FOMO, fear of missing out, and it fuels the growth of the F culture. And guys, we are often scrambling for the latest styles. Even as influencers, you often see them sharing with you what they're buying for Fashion Week, what their looks would be for Fashion Week, and that they are actually buying to wear fuels greed. I need to keep up with what you're buying to attend the fashion shows. And at the same time, while you're there, you're also telling me to buy even more from what you are sharing with me from the fashion shows. We are all not able to afford what you are showing before you go while you're there and afterwards that fuels greed on your part as well as on our part and it makes us go into debt okay you need to be aware that 
this is not something that you and I, mere nine to fivers, keep in mind that these influencers, as I've said to you before, they often get it free or some of them are flexing on fakes as well. Some of them are also flexing on dupes. Some are items that are borrowed that the brands give to them do not in any way feel that you should keep up with this type of environment do not in any way feel that you are missing out you're not because where are you going in those tassels so keep that in mind when you see your favorite fashion influencers sharing these items with you before during and after these fashion shows number three fashion shows fuel your greed and compromise your physical mental and sustainable journey if you do have one it really really compromises your mental health in the sense that whenever there's this hype around fashion week whether it's new york milan london paris you are often caught up in the frenzy with your favorite influences because they are hopping here and there going to fit ins and you're following them and oh my god it's mentally draining needless to say you spend sleepless nights looking for the same items that they have because it looks so great on them and you're stalking websites you are agonizing you're not sleeping well just so you're able to keep up with your favorite influences but at the same time look like them despite the fact it may not be your style on the physical side of it many of these influences that are in different countries rushing from paris to france it's grueling it's tiring it's really physically draining on the influencer and you could see it many of them are changing in cars in traffic it's mentally and physically draining oh my god you could see the physical and mental impact it has on many influencers is it worth it one could argue that for you to make it in this system this line of work any line of work most cases you have to work hard when you're doing something you love it doesn't feel like work that is true and many influencers will tell you they're doing what they love they're even dragging or having their partners behind them and it takes a toll on their relationships as well so it's really an event or a set of events that influencers have to really be mindful of to weigh the costs and the losses physical mental environmental relationships these are things that one has to keep in mind when you want to attend fashion events i was one of those that actually love to look at fashion shows that was before i realized the huge impact it has on the environment and oftentimes it's us in the caribbean that get some of the most negatively impactful environmental effects and it's not fun so that's how fashion weeks fuels not only greed which also has an impact on your wallet your bank account but it really compromises your mental and your physical health and also sustainability aspect of it whereas these are often items that are not made of the greatest materials if you look at them you could see the synthetic oozing out of these fabrics 
all the tassels, all these types of materials that are often displayed because they create an impact. Many synthetic fabrics create the most impacts. And that's what these fashion brands, these fashion houses, that's what they put out there for you to be inspired by. That's what the influencers are showing. It's huge. It really, really messes up with your capacity to differentiate what is actually market employees versus the reality of it all. Where are you going in those embellished dresses, those short, short minis, those embroidery? Where are you going with them? Is that for you? Really? Is it for you? Keep that in mind. Number four, and this could be a bit controversial, but I do go there. Fashion Weeks pits influencers against each other. It pits influencers against each other because they often wear the same prints, but in a different style. And some styles may suit a particular influencer over another, but one influencer may get there first and take that particular style so the other influencer shows up and sees that influencer in their style it fuels not only your greed but jealousy and jealousy is a mental emotional issue it impacts you mentally psychologically the reason why i say that is because often you see that when influencers are being dressed by a brand and they are late for fittings and the good piece have already been gone you would often hear them inquire into what was taken by another influencer the green eye monster is coming out yes i know they're going to deny that but it's okay to have a tiny bit of jealousy you're a human being and everybody wants to look their best. Everybody wants to wear a brand that is representative of them so that they don't lie. Rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After 